Behold the secret calendar of ideology or standard model of perspectives of the his irritated Yamites of his asterisk wherein many things are represented which contradict one another but which compose a whole. Its creation was an exercise of relating two seemingly unrelated fields, specifically, laying out various ways of interpreting the world onto the different particles of the standard model of particle physics. The standard model of particle physics is generally accepted as the most accurate current understanding of what constitutes our universe. Despite this, most scientists accept that it is incomplete and will eventually be modified or replaced. Here is the standard model of perspectives of the his irritated Yamites of Higgs. One issue to keep in mind is that based on quantum field theory, what really seems most fundamental is the field that carries each particle, which is everywhere, and in which an excited state is called a particle. Disclaimer. In case you're not familiar with the standard model of particle physics, here's a link to a quick reference chart link to www.symmetrymagazine.org slash standard model, which if used in combination with Wikipedia may help make sense of this project. Also on that note, I do my best in this, but do not have a degree in particle physics, and people seriously interested in the most accurate understanding of the actual standard model of particle physics should probably look elsewhere for that, even if hope you give this a chance to. Onward to the explanation. I believe it makes most sense to progress through the ideas presented in the standard model of perspectives in the order which might be seen as most generally prevalent in relatively recent history. For that reason, I'll start with the photon, representing mysticism, move to the gluon, representing religion and its god s, to the zeboson, antithesis, presenting all that is defined by its negation of something else, and so negates itself when its goal is achieved, and coming to the present with the w boson, reason, before explaining the meaning of the central Higgs boson as well as my fondness for run-on sentences, if there's time. The four other than the Higgs are known as a gauge bosons, which are each force carrier for three other particles, which will each be given a more specific meaning within the categories given already. The first two of these four are subdivided into quarks, while the latter two are subdivided into leptons. The Higgs boson is the only one which has a value of zero where it is rather than where it is not, and a measurable value where it is not, partially explaining its unique central positioning in the chart. On the mysticism, here represented by the photon. Direct experience the photon is light, and the mystic is sometimes described as one searching for illumination. Beyond this, the experiences of the mystic are often difficult to relate to others. Because of this they can be seen as related to the uncertainty principle, which basically states that past a certain point the more one knows about one aspect of a thing the less one knows about another aspect of that thing. This relates to mystic experiences in that they are ephemeral and cannot be pinned down with certainty, meaning that, to my knowledge, no mystic has found words which will guarantee in all who read them an experience like that which inspired their writing. The three quarks of the field associated with the photon, the electromagnetic field, and its force, are known as up, charm, and top, up, up, upward bound. The mystic starts discovering self and world as expressions of divinity. Charm the charm of the idiosyncratic or circumstantial mystic, who has mastered the art of the moment but not the communication of its key. Top. Finally there, and with no chance to rest, in case the searcher misses any moment of the view from the top of the holy mountain, where one may be closer to the heavens and illumination than any other and so representative personal experience of clarity of the divine, and from where one can see not only one's own but all the many roots up the mountain, and begin to make maps for others. Next, on to religion and its god slash s, here represented by the Glon. They compose a great set of maps, but also dogma and beauty, restrictive and beguiling. Faith being of general importance in religion, here you are asked to take on faith that it is well represented by the Glon. The Glon moderates what is called the strong force, which relates to down, strange, and bottom quarks. Down, dogma, grinds creativity downward. Disorder too, but is it worth the cost? The actual down bond seems to mysteriously weigh more than it should, but due to this it seems it helps hold things together. Strange. Syncretism may seem strangely orthodox, but it is to some degree extant in all religions, as none really develop without historic roots in something else. Bottom. Also known as beauty, 
which, being of sensual impressions in the context of religion designed to direct towards experiences of holiness border on mysticism, but they are not, because they are not the path of the seeker but of one directed, almost enthralled, by systems of aesthetics particular to the religion of which they are part. Asterisk asterisk halfway there, let me pause for a bit and I'll come back to this later. Next is the Zeboson, which in this system represents antithesis, which is all movements and ideas that are defined by their opposition to something else. They are associated with the Zeboson because it is its own antiparticle, and they similarly destroy their own foundation if they destroy the opposition they are founded on. This is divided between the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the dome neutrino. The electron neutrino, having the symbol V, here is titled Vanquish Edifice, and represents primarily anarchy and if I sum the muon neutrino, V, is called Vanquish Yourself as in you vanquished herself which admittedly is a stretch of language, but hey, who said this would all be neat and tidy? And represents denial of one's own experience and annihilation of mysticism. Finally, there is the Do Neutrino, VT, taken to mean Vanquish Truth, which stands as that defined by opposition to reason. I think that's all the time I have for now, hopefully more to come later on the W and Higgs bosons. Alright, getting back into it, we come to the W boson, which here is representative of reason due to its role in nuclear decay being considered like reason's affinity for dividing a large issue into smaller ones, transforming it in the process it is divided into the electron, muon and tau particles. The electron, likely the most familiar and possibly the only one of the particles that is commonly known aside from the photon, and possibly the Higgs boson due to the publicity surrounding its discovery. The electron may seem less mysterious than the photon, and here represents science, being used for providing light and powering computation among all of the other machines that have been reasoned out and powered by it. This illumination of science is preferred by many to the candle. Next is the muon, which, being more massive than the photon, can have more penetrative power if it has enough energy for this reason it is representative in this system of penetrating reason, and may be taken to be related to reason in philosophy, which may be dominated in the practical everyday world by science, but which also in many ways serves as a foundation for science. Finally, there is the dough, which is even more massive and potentially more penetrating than the muon, but which is unstable and normally quickly decays. It is called extremely penetrating reason in the diagram, and may be related to inspiration which may seem in ways like the mystical experience, but the result of which is a system based on reason instead of or in addition to, a transcendental experience. A most famous result of this may be schools of Buddhism which tend more towards reason than tradition than some of its more mystical forms. Finally, finally, the Higgs boson, sometimes often to the irritation of serious scientists, it has been called the God Particle. Admittedly this label was likely originally a publicity stunt to help raise the money needed to prove that it existed, but this fact serves the his irritated EMites of Higgs, because in this chart God slash S have already been given a section, and it is not the Higgs. Heresy, I hear the cry. But wait, could it mean holy? And the answer then is sort of, in as humanists consider holiness. I say this because the inner secret of the Higgs, at least in the context of the chart described here, can be taken as a sort of humanism. The secret is hidden but not well, in the name his irritated Emites, which can also be written H as I wrote it meaning the H representative of the Higgs boson is transformed from one who believes the central truth of experience is best related as I am. The question may then arise of how this relates to the unique properties of the actual Higgs boson and its field, though its unique position among the other particles is of course complex and multifaceted. The elements which stick out most seem to be that it has a value where a particle is not rather than where it is, and that because of this it interferes with the forces relating to the W and Z bosons, here representative of reason and antithesis. This interference, however, results in a modification of forces which allows for mass to exist basically, without the oddities of human nature interfering with our reason and antithesis of the objectionable, nothing would matter, I mean nothing would be material. I mean nothing would have mass. I mean, I mean, what do I mean? Maybe having value where it is not rather than where it is makes the Higgs boson's field representative of the saintly slash bodhisattva the state of existing for the illumination of others, having essence in its surroundings more than itself, in a sense in the picture, it says the his irritated Emites of Higgs say it provides the framework.
That's just a label, and not very helpful, except maybe in that despite being central, it implies that the Higgs boson here represents something that provides context for something even more central than itself. Maybe that's related to gravity, the one force that has not yet been mentioned, and for good reason. The standard model of particle physics has yet to incorporate an agreed on understanding of gravity. So another attempt at order leads only to more mystery. Best wishes, thanks for reading. Asterisk 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 Well some may have you believe that the his irritated Yamites of Higgs have yet to exist but are generally acclaimed by time travelers from the near future as the wisest yet most sinister great society of their era. It is my opinion that they already exist but have yet to discover their name having imprudently spread that name here for the sake of informing the reader. It is entirely possible they never will adopt the HIH title, but who knows.